First game jitters are gone now, Dick. Both of these teams are looking to settle into their comfort zone in this second round matchup between the Yale Bulldogs and the UAB Blazers. It's showtime, baby. Let's get the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Blazers should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them doing so? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. First of all, keep the mental mistakes to a minimum. Turnovers could be the story of this one, baby. Second, make sure you eat up the boards. Lastly, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Both teams looking to get things going here. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. He gets that one to fall. Dumps it in. Great anticipation defensively. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. He unloads, makes the shot. Try to go inside. On the inside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They move it into the front court. He shoots from outside. He nails the shot. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. He got the steal, the pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure, it was too much for him and he lost possession. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Gave it up. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Takes the pass in the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. The center with the ball. Fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dump it inside. Tries for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Trying to feed inside. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He gets the shot to fall. Looking for a good shot. 
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that's what makes college so special. The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. He drains it. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper, and the ball goes out of play. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. For the bucket. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. They look to get it to the inside. Look how speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. The power forward gets the pass. Fires away. There was no doubt about that one. Looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Controlling the ball. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. There he is, strips the ball loose. Trying to draw some contact, and he scores despite the hack. Frustration right there. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Trying to draw the foul. Shannon makes the finger roll. The point guard takes the pass. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. Now they work it around the perimeter. The crowd loves this young man. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. High post screen. He lets it go. He buries the shot. Think right now, got to focus defensively. On the dribble, gives it up. Nice fake. Fakes it. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Kicks it out. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Sinks the shot. Up and inside. That was a high post screen, goes to the lane. Oh, 
They work the perimeter. The center takes the feed. Leans in. Perfectly executed. That's been moves not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Moving it around the perimeter. Nice high post screen. Stolen away. The point guard gets the ball. Bailey is fired up right now emotionally. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He does the sweet fake shot. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Turns it over. The Blazers have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Jumps into the defender. plays on the pass and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Puts up the tray. Makes it. How about a replay, boys? And he'll kick it back outside. Number 15, fakes the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. He pump fakes and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Great play to take that to the basket. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Turnaround jumper. 
Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here on transition, Brad. Perfectly executed. Let's it fly. Drains it. There's a high screen. Goes up for two. Gave it up. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the free throw line. First shot is no good. Foul shot is not good. Tears it away. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Intercepted. Good fake. He tries a jump hook. And in and out. Dick, not a bad drop step. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of play. On the dribble, gives it up. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Brad, this place will be dusty if they can score here. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Got it. The Bulldogs have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. He unloads a three. He hits the shot. Up it inside. Up it inside. Picked off. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. For two, perfectly executed. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
where Brad and Dick, the coaching staff, knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Aaron's right about that. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, if you have a great post play, you got a chance really to win. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Goes up for two. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. With the fake, they go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And a momentary look from three-point land. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Gave it up. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip. Going one way, you spin back the other way. Oh, he's having fun with the opponents there. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Cashed it in. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He takes the rebound. The fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Another turnover. And they're not talking about the turnovers either. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He gets the bucket. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Buries it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For the bucket, perfectly executed. They're working around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Shot's there if he wants it. He goes for three. That was nice. At the half, the Bulldogs are trailing by six. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. UAB is getting a lot of rebounds, Dick, in that first half. Hey, Brad, these boys gave a monstrous performance on the board. They were relentless in retrieving a lot. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Dribble gives it up, steals the pass.
ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Working it around the perimeter. The center handles the pass. Jumped in front to take it away. For two. Up for the lay-in. Hilliard in the paint. He's got a nice shot fake. Gets the rejection. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Picks off the lazy pass. Terry handles the feed. He looks for three. Gets it to go. The Bulldogs trail by nine. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Gave it up. Now work it around the arc. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. The defender is still applying great blow pressure, Brad. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the trap. From left of the circle. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want we'll to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Up and inside. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He nails the bucket. down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow gave it up they get the ball down low and he hips up with his man and down he goes hey Brad that's a flop that's Mr. Flop right there don't call that baby The dribble gives it up. Jump hook from the low post. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Moss receives the ball. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Side. Fakes the shot. Working it around the perimeter. Intercepted. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Goes up for two. <laughs> the 
The shooting guard receives the pass. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling out here and turns it over. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. That's an 8 nothing run. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. They'll work it around the arc. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Gave it up. And that's basic. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Good job defensively. Applying lots of pressure, Brad. And looking for the steal as well. On the top of the key. Tickles the twine. The Blazers are ahead by five. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the screen up on top. On the outside. There's the pick. There's the roll. He shoots from the top of the circle. Moving it around the perimeter. Got the high pick. He pulls the trigger. He gets the bucket to fall. And the ball goes out of bounds. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison. Dick. Okay, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Picks off the lazy pass. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. Two out of fadeaway. Working it around the perimeter. Takes the shot. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. Yeah, he's on fire. Up and inside. Takes the three-pointer. Can't get it to go. They're working around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Basketball. And the ball goes out of play. Jumped in front to take it away. Puts it up looking for contact. The lay in. The replay will give us a better look. away the pass. 
think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Double team now, bad angle. He throws it up from downtown. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'll be in trouble without him. He intercepts it. For two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Looking for a screen on top and got it. For the deuce. In the paint. Stolen ball. They're off into transition. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Take another look at that play. Picks off the pass. Nice shot fake. There's the pick. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. They work the perimeter. Step out on that screener. He gets the bucket. The Bulldogs are down by four. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Gave it up. Here's a double team. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, an emotional message from both benches. Let's play our game. That's what got us here. And more importantly, let's believe in one another. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. They go inside and now back outside. I'll tell you, inside, outside action always works. Oh, he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the first. Second shot is no good. Nick, look at the number of points off turnover. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Second one is no good. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. With a jump hook. Ate, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. He shoots from right of the circle. Great shot. Down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I got defense reacting and beat him to the spot. Very poor. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. You 
You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on the defense to beat him in the spot. This the best look. Dribble gives it up. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to buy him the ball. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He launches the bomb off the rim and no good. Steals the pass. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. Hey, down the stretch, there are so many factors that could become the difference maker. Turnovers, missed free throws, rebounded. I wonder what it will come down to in this game. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Dickey's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. it around the arc he shoots from the top of the key he made good use of the screen but the shot fell off we're gonna move it around the perimeter takes the pass in the paint for two easy one that's an eight zip run looking for a good shot They come with a double team to stop it. That's a high post screen, close to the lane. <laughs> Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. He takes it away. <laughs> Working it around the perimeter. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Hit. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in close position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Just too slow to stay with his man, Dick, and he picks up the foul. Well, two mistakes. Number one, he lets him get the ball in that deep, and number two, he doesn't have any footwork and doesn't move and beat him to the spot. What an edge for the home team. Great defense. Pushes it. For the deuce. Was that beautiful or what? Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. the outside. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Steals the ball. The ball goes out of bounds. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. He takes the shot. Rims out. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. 
Number 24 coming in for the first time tonight. He will give this defense a different kind of threat at this position. Smart move. Yale are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Makes his second shot. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the outside, intercepted. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Takes it off him. They work the perimeter. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's a double team waiting there. He attempts the trifecta. He's money with a shot. Gave it up. Robs him with the ball. Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Look at that spacing. Looking for a good shot. There's the trap. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Number 15 makes the substitution back into the ballgame. Well, Brad, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of energy he comes with. Gave it up. They'll work it around the arc. A whistle and foul. Coach not happy in the sideline. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. They're going to call that a backcourt violation. Somebody got a little nervous that time, Brad. He pulls the trigger. These boys are tearing it up behind the arc right now, Dick. They've got him at their mercy with the threes, Brad. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He draws a foul. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers, missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. The lead trickles down to four. Time is either your best friend or your worst enemy at this point, Brad. Tries to draw the charge, and even he smile about this one. I tell you, you're kidding me. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Shot clock is dead. Look at perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart.
He steps up to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. Makes the second shot. It's a two possession game if they can score here. Six points separating these two squads. This is no time to get complacent, Brad. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. And yet another foul. Nobody likes this part of the game, and the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. With the pair. Gets his first. Second one is good. Got to get one on this possession, baby. The lead is five. What happens now, Dick? Well, this is where momentum can swing in your favor or go against you enough to blow your game. Get back to the action. Let's it fly. He's making just terrible choices shooting the ball. He's got to settle down, man. Settle that cap down. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Yale is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game, and their third-round opponents better be prepared because these kids are looking to go all the way, baby. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale.